right. What's up? What's up? So we're two grown ass men that went to go see the edge of 17. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? That was <laughs> I fucking love this. That movie. was phenomenal. Yes! <laughs> that, yeah! was, that was absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Oh my god. I haven't felt this good walking out of a theater I in know. a while. That was so good! That was such a good movie. <laughs> that was so I good. I fucking love this movie. <laughs> Me too. Like, like I This makes up for wild things. I told you that when we were walking life, out, but yeah. they need to know. <laughs> like, that was amazing! <laughs> I know. Like, I, I, I'm flabbergasted. I'm not like, gonna text. I'm all like, my friends and go dude like, I seriously want to just like go <laughs> home like and mom's got my mom always asked me like you know what'd you, what'd you and Michael watch and I'll be like oh we watched this and she's like how was it and usually I said like eh, it's all right. but, <laughs> but this time I'm gonna be like she's gonna Matt what'd you watch Edge of 17 uh, what'd you think of it it was fucking awesome <laughs> I mean like, honestly I, I, I might text my friends I've seen a lot of times like dude fuck hang out my place you wanna go see the Edge of 17 <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> cause like I wanna watch this again oh my this god this is so yes. good it's such a good movie <laughs> yes <laughs> this is so like I mean, I saw like um, um, any complaints about this are minor at best. The writing. I don't is, even know if I can think of complaints. But, like, like it is so funny and yes. so heartfelt yes. and so well acted. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like it, like up and surpasses every expectation. I, I have had. like, uh, I have like the most minor of nitpicks. Like only one thing I could possibly think is even close to a mistake. But like, besides that, this movie's fucking awesome. Like, no, I loved it. Like, yes. I was like, I kept being surprised. Like, I like, I texted Grant while I was watching the movie. Like, dude, this is phenomenal. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like I thought, like coming in, it would be like you know, it's like a high school movie. Yeah, you got like some funny stuff, some like. I was expecting like a Mean stuff. Girls kind of like. Funny yeah, kind of like Mean Girls. Yeah, but like it says like ninety five percent Rotten Tomato. I was like, now I know why. Yeah, like, this earns that fucking rating. Yeah, holy shit! <laughs> this, is pro- this is probably make my top ten list. This yes, <laughs> this movie made me so happy. It really did. Like it just it it's a. I hate to use the phrase roller coaster, but it really applies yeah. here because like it's so well acted yes. and the writing is so sharp. There is just and, like some incredible honesty going on through this mm-hmm. film. And uh, it's just like I mean there's a part of it that's like, what kid talks like this? But then it's like I'm also I mean, enjoying myself so much I don't really care. Uh, honestly, like I felt it was pretty s- I mean now, there's sometimes some, like, my sister talks like that. There's so some cases like, like, yeah, I can see myself talking like yeah. this. <laughs> I mean uh, like the girl is like is like Tumblr but with less fan fiction. But like you know, it's like it's she's well, very fun. Well, it's like all the like, characters yeah. have depth to them. Yes. They're interesting. Yes, and they're flawed. And a lot yeah. of them are kind of selfish assholes. Yes, they're also <laughs> so unselfish pricks, but it works. And, but the movie actively acknowledges is acknowledges it and makes yeah. it and make it more relatable. Yeah, <laughs> and like it like there's so many things in this movie that should not work as well as it does, and yeah. it does. And I'm so it makes me so happy. Oh man. Like, <laughs> Yes. Uh, this is such fuck. a good. F- watch this movie. Just fuck. I mean, I'm not gonna get that out of the way in the beginning. Watch this movie. Yeah, if you can't tell from like the most glowing recommendation I've given <laughs> in a long time, and it wasn't for like any other movies I've seen. Lately. It, no, oh, it's for man. the Edge of Fucking Seventeen. Yeah, it's the movie like, I give a glowing recommendation. Seriously, because <laughs> like, I mean, I loved Arrival, but I don't. And I think that's still a great movie. I was sitting yeah. there like, I didn't walk away this happy after seeing a movie. <laughs> I, I can't remember the last time I walked away from a movie thinking like, you know, I just feel good. Yeah. And that's a rare fucking feeling. Because <laughs> like, this movie, I feel like anyone who's been in these kind of situations has like, there's something to relate to for everyone, I yeah. feel. Uh, kind of it's the same very, way I felt like Inside Out kind of was. Yeah, it's very yeah. like kind of open-ended. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, the characters... You know, like, they're all very fleshed out, so everyone can find something to relate to mm-hmm. in these characters. Like, and again, I found like, myself... Sorry. Sorry to cut you off. No, no, go ahead. I found myself, like, having stuff in common with, like, the... Oh, my God. What's her name? Nadia. Yeah. Uh, Nadine. Nadine. That was her name. Yeah. With uh, Nadine, with her friend, with her douchebag brother. I mean, he's not even a douchebag. No, they do flesh him out very well. Like, yeah. Like, they said they said want to be a douchebag, but at the same time, not, the way they resolved that, without giving anything away... Yeah. Is really well done. And yes. honestly, like, I got a little teary eyed during that speech at the end. Oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't I was, crying, but I was blown away. Like, I didn't, I didn't say I cried. I said I got a little teary eyed. Yeah. Like, okay, that's because, again, 
And that girl uh, who plays Nadine has been a phenomenal actress since she yes. started, first started. I mean, she was started in True Grit uh, with oh, I didn't Jeff know Bridges. That. You didn't you didn't see the Jeff Bridges movie? Oh uh, no, I didn't. No. Uh, she that was like she was a kid when she came out. She was a phenomenal actress oh, then. Oh my god. <laughs> and she was in Pitch Perfect too, which she was still good in. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you saw? Were you the one that saw? I, I saw that with you, but I don't remember who she was. Uh, was she, she was like the new girl. Oh in the right, right. That came with her own original song. Right. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, crucify the original songwriter. Yeah. That's that's the one. Yeah. Uh, Freddie Mercury, just fuck him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fuck uh, original that. songs, fuck no. No, all cover but, bands. Okay. Anyway, but uh, <laughs> but anyway, no, just uh, like there's a part I lean towards you halfway through and I go, oh my god, is that how I sound? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I felt you leaning toward me. I didn't hear you say that, but I was like, huh? <laughs> there's a part where he's like you know what I am I'm just an old soul I like old music and I like this oh thing. that part and I lean right. over and I was like oh fuck that's what I sound like I was thinking the same <laughs> thing I'm just like on one hand, I relate heavily to this, but it sounds wrong when it's set up. It sounds out loud. like it's like, man, I'm a douche. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, is that what I sound like? And can we talk about the real hero of this movie, yes. Woody Harrelson? Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Stole the goddamn every, show every I know, scene he's in. Every time he's about to speak in this movie, I get so excited. He is like everything out of his fucking mouth is gold. Like, but. Far and above, these like, yes. the best part of this. Oh my movie. god! Yes, <laughs> just every line he has is just <laughs> just bitter, oh dripping god. sarcasm. <laughs> it's just, like, if, like, but what, it's so witty. It is. He's it is such an incredible wit to this character. Oh and no! It's and just, it's it's Woody Harrelson. He has this really dry sense of humor. Yeah, about. like and once the one early on, the one that's not in the trailer was the one where like oh, Nadine like, comes after like, when he's setting up a TV in class. And he goes like, "Yeah, I didn't get any homework done last night because." Uh, <laughs> You know, my dad yeah. died. <laughs> he, looks, like, he looks oh, solemn, uh, and he goes, you? date of death. <laughs> like, date, no, date of passing is what date he goes. Date of passing? Yeah. 2011. And he goes, oh. Mm, and he, he looks like, back he, like, at he, like, a calendar. Smartly turns around with, uh, there, there's a year expiration on, on, the, <laughs> on the dead relative. Uh, <laughs> on, the, uh, on the dead relative uh, giveaway card or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, uh, like, there's still options. Your grandparents can't stick around forever. <laughs> 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 it's so good, feel, guys. It's so good. I swear, there must have been a part in this movie where the people sitting next to us were just like, well, these guys just like the, quiet, uh, Honestly, like, whenever Woody Harrelson <laughs> talked, you were like, yeah. just laughing uproariously. <laughs> yeah. And our theaters were just like, because we were in a packed fucking yeah, theater. Yeah, it was full. Uh, Yeah, like, this yeah. was a packed fucking theater. Like, like I, I very rarely have seen I mean, people like, fight for the fr seats in the front for a movie yeah. like this. Seriously. But I don't know. I don't like, know why this movie is so popular right now. But I'm glad it is because it's a movie I, that deserves yes. to be fucking seen. This is a good movie. <laughs> like I mean, like it's like. I mean, I know most of the audience is like seventeen-year-old girls and stuff, but I mean, yeah. honestly, that's a good audience for this movie. No, like I think there's a lot. To, there's a lot of important lessons there to is learn like, from yeah. this movie. And again, it's just really heartfelt, and you feel yeah. Everything feels real, even though you know that it's angsty as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, like usually when I watch a movie of like, like like this or like. What was it? Where it's like a fucking like Fulton or Stars or something like they always they always feel like someone has to be dying or something for like good drama. But like this is like good drama in just life that carries on. Well, it's like it's about it's like, part, it's a fact of being a teenager. Where yeah, everything it's actually about being a teenager, <laughs> which is something so few movies get right. Yeah, no, I agree. I think the only like I think the last teen movie I really liked. Uh, well, that's like Diary of a Teenage Girl, but that was a fucked up movie for a lot of other reasons. Was well, it Diary of a Teenage Girl? Or yeah, like... yeah, which is a misleading title, but watch the movie <laughs> okay. itself because it's a really fucked up movie. Okay, I'll look into it. <laughs> uh, because that one has a lot of underage sex. Uh, yeah, it's it's uncomfortable. I see. Uh, in the seventies, no less. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so All really, right. it was one step away from having AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Or give didn't it, have AIDS, give it a couple, but it was close. Give it, oh. give the seventies a few years. It'll get AIDS. Just, it'll come. The uh, AIDS will come. That's a put that on a T-shirt. The AIDS will come. Well, AIDS, that's another T-shirt idea. That's another T-shirt. <laughs> put that in. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, but anyway, uh, no, I think the last one I really liked was Perks of Being a Wallflower. Mm. Uh, and even, as much as I like that movie, I will admit there are parts of that movie that are pretty pretentious. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, that's really my biggest problem with a lot of teenage movies is that they're so, they're very pretentious. Yeah. But this one is like, no, this feels authentic. Down, yeah, it feels, it's very honest. I said that earlier. Yeah. But like, you know, like, it felt very, like, honest. Like, you know, you could tell, like, the actors and the, the script writer and the mm -hmm. director, they all did their fucking homework. Oh, yeah. Like, like no, you like, know, they uh, really, like, they I, got these people down. I think what's so easy to forget about yeah. being a teenager, especially, like, the minute you're turning your 20s, you think about who you were as a teenager, you go, God, I was an asshole. Yes! <laughs> and I, I was a little <laughs> fucking shit when I was a teenager. So was I. I was yeah. a selfish prick as a yeah. teenager. And I think this movie really just... Kind of pinpoints why we're selfish teenagers. Uh, selfish when we're teenagers yeah. is because everything feels huge. Yeah. Uh, every little thing, like as an adult, you go, you look back and then you go, "Look, I understand this is a big deal to you now, but in a few years, none of this will matter." Exactly. And, <laughs> but I was that, like, that, I was thinking the same. Like I was coming into this movie, and I was thinking, like, oh, you know, it's a high school movie. You know, as an adult, I'm not again. I'm not gonna get a lot. <laughs> this mm -hmm. but holy fucking shit was i wrong yeah no it's again it just comes down to like so, but at the same time you don't know that going through it so like yeah. everything that happened just feels like your whole fucking world exactly and that's and that's not just uh that's not just a high school thing that's part of your brain because yeah. everything is at a hundred percent because your brain's still developing and mm -hmm. especially again at 16 or 17 your brain is on fire oh my god with there's different, like so like, much happening with different especially when you're 16 and 17 there's a lot of shit going on in high school life oh yeah and that's, again that's again that's why everything feels so intense because your brain is so intense at that age yeah and it doesn't really calm down to your mid-20s oh uh, <laughs> i'm still but, waiting for the mid-20s yeah. but you, you get used if the problems you get used to you adapt you learn that's how you you grow yeah, into an adult but when you're at 16 or 17 you don't you haven't had that experience yet mm -hmm. unless you come from an impoverished home yeah. so like uh, which I, I that's an unfortunate fact mm -hmm. uh, yeah it is it really is uh, so I feel I like it, that's worth mentioning but anyway it, it is. but it's uh, again so like every experience you have positive or negative especially negative ones just, it just amplified to 11 in a way that people in our 20s like 20s and 30s and so forth have have a hard time relating to because we forgot a lot. Like, we kind of repressed a lot of what that felt like. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but the same, I, I like to like, emphasize the fact that yeah, she is selfish in this movie. She is very like everyone is selfish mm. in this movie. Yeah, but at the same time, they also it's it's that journey of kind of being selfish to realize that you can't be selfish. Yeah, uh, you know, like you know, it's the whole Ebenezer Scrooge thing. You know, you go on a or. That was not a good analogy. Hold on. Uh, yeah, um, the, yeah, this is about teenagers. You know what relates to teenagers? Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> uh, hold on. I got. I had, a, I had a better one. I'm just going to go You know who's the, the best person to compare to Patton, General Patton? Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, it's very, it's very kind of, um, fuck, what is it? Um, Faustus? I don't know. I'm going into it. Freudian? Maybe. I was thinking Dr. Faustus for a moment. Like, essentially, he sells his soul. You know, he's just fucking bored. And so he so, so he makes a deal with Mephistopheles to get magic powers. And he starts fucking around with everyone and being a jackass. But then he realizes, oh, shit, I've been fucking around with everyone make it, being a jackass. Mm -hmm. I've been... You know, I literally sold my soul to the devil. You know, and he's like, he's like about to die. And he's like, oh shit, I'm going to hell. <laughs> and that's when he realizes just all the horrible things at once. And it's like, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's not nearly as dramatic as that. No, but Satan it does works. not appear yeah. in this picture. Satan. <laughs> yeah, unless it's Woody Harrelson. In which case, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a, he's yeah. such a lovable jack. He really is, movie. but at the same time, like, he is given that kind of just extra layer of heart that like, you can tell he cares. Mm -hmm. He's just an ass about yeah. it. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, like, he was the part was like, you're my favorite student. And he goes, did you really mean that? Ah, I felt like the right thing to it say felt, at the time. Right. <laughs> but at the same time, you kind of feel like he was right. Yeah, like, like, you kind of felt like he actually did feel that, but he's also being a smart ass about it. Like, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. I thought he meant it, but he didn't want to, like, be too, like, emotional about it. Yeah. So, like, yeah, it's very, like, you know, and it works. It works in that respect. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, even then, like, this movie's given me a lot of flashbacks to my own childhood memories mm -hmm. and stuff that I went through. And if we can do that, it's doing something right. Yeah. And it's doing something right, and that means, like, okay, there's there's some form of groundness and realism in a way that can relate, that can reflect, right, to me, a 25-year-old yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, uh, I, I, I related a hardcore to Owen. Like, what's yes. his name? Uh, um, Owen... The nice guy, oh, uh, Irwin. Irwin, I was Irwin. close. Irwin. <laughs> At the yeah. same time, like I also relate to the party scene I'm just, where right. I'm the guy. Like, why are you so awkward? Because <laughs> I would be me at the party. Like, I hate. Uh, same, same fam, same fam. <laughs> like, I hate parties to death. Like, I mm -hmm. only go to parties if like someone I really care about invites me, and like, yeah. like, even then, I will cling to them like wet, like a wet tissue. Because oh, yeah. I'm like, I don't want to be by myself with these people <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> are you crazy? I mean, like, oh, these people. I mean, like, I remember the first and only time I went on a rave. Uh, oh my god! I went there super, super drunk, which is why I enjoyed it for the first hour, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I started to sober up, and I realized two, two horrible realizations. One. Why am I here? <laughs> like I heard that voice in my brain going, I don't know any of these people. What are they doing? What is this? <laughs> and then the other part of my brain's like, oh god, I'm stuck here for another several hours. <laughs> Good damn. Because I'm still too drunk and there's no and my, my friends are here. <laughs> They're high and drunk off their ass. <laughs> They're not helpful. I'm not able to get anywhere. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Why? And like even like with the the friend sleeping with the sibling thing, I remember mm. one time as a kid. Not not that exact scenario happened. Oh, okay. Uh, but I remember one time at his friend uh, who were remain names remain uh, remain nameless. Uh, Let's call him Kenny. Kenny, sure. Uh, and one time we were like middle schoolers I want to say yeah. and uh, he got my twin sister like a ballerina necklace <laughs> so so I kind of I kind of went passive aggressive I still remember his response clear as day it was great <laughs> uh, I was kind of like uh, so I heard you got my sister a necklace which is interesting I mean you ever heard that thing about how uh, friends don't go after other friends sisters <laughs> And he just went like, I, I, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, but that's like, good job, Kenny. Good like, job. Like just kind of, I, I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> he stopped it there. It's one of those unwritten guy rules that <laughs> yeah, really so, everyone should know. Should but, know but, so once in a while, you have to explain it. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, kind of like, yeah, that's a thing, dude. Yeah. That's my way of saying I am onto you, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think you can fucking sneak this past me. I know. Oh, I know. Man. I know things. Uh, like, I don't I even want to talk about that much. a special set of skills. <laughs> I mean, like, the plot, you've seen it before. Uh, I have like, not actually seen a plot like this before. I feel like, well, if you watch, I mean, if you watch Parenthood. <laughs> I've never seen Parenthood. So <laughs> that Parenthood's actually it. another really phenomenally good show. Okay. Uh, very similar, actually. Okay. Uh, that one, I honestly say, is probably one of the more... People talk and act like real people in a way that's really hard to find in a TV show. Yeah. It's on Netflix. Go check it out. Okay. Uh, but a lot of the same kind of drama stuff happens, but it's all, in the, it just goes to show that's all in the execution and how it's done. Yeah. And how they relate it to the fact that everyone's just fucking flawed. Yeah. <laughs> Like, the mom is flawed. I mean, she's mm -hmm. like, everyone can be horrible, and yet they're still somehow likable. Or at least, yeah. or even if they're not, they're trying to be better. Or they, you can tell they're just trying to do the best they fucking can. Mm -hmm. uh, although there is one character that pops up early on that I knew was going to die. <laughs> I'm like, almost immediately. <laughs> Again, without giving it away, I was like, just, this person just, is way too cheerful. This person's fucking toast. <laughs> you like, just sign your own death warrant. Uh, but <laughs> I even like... He comes into work with a red shirt on, and there's a target <laughs> on the back. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, like I can't really say too much else. Not really going deeper in the movie. Just know that yeah. I, I fucking loved this movie. This movie is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's like. I'm gonna tell everyone in my family to watch this fucking movie. Me too. I'm gonna tell my friends and oh my stuff. Like, yeah. I'm gonna start texting people like, okay, hear me out. <laughs> okay, so, you know that. You know the teenager movie, Edge of like, Seventeen? It's fucking awesome. Like you said, that like half face covered in shadow, <laughs> like it was fucking Shakespeare. I had to be like, I mean, I had to get, like, I had to be over dramatic on a lot of things. Just like, no, it's a, it's a thing. You the actor? It's a theater uh, thing. Just, mm. just, just. Try. <laughs> what was that? Uh, what was the thing that happened at the beginning before the movie even started? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> he, you. <laughs> I think I've mentioned this before, but I keep po I keep poking you with this. There's an ad that plays at like Cinemark Theater. Yeah, where it's like all these. Uh, you get a bunch of you get like, a bunch like of hip, trendy, 
fresh out of college theater people like singing a song Same about how much they song. love a, they love movies and going bin popcorn and soda and stuff yeah. like that and, and I think it started like and Michael ago, and this, <laughs> this fucker he keeps leaning over to me he's like that's your future man that's where your theater artist degree gets you and this time like before he got the chance I leaned over like, and I'm like shut your fucking mouth I was like, I'm like don't you fucking say it I will cut you I will cut you <laughs> cause I was the funny part is just you said that I was about to lean over and go do you know any of those people <laughs> any of them in your class <laughs> Fuck you, Michael. That's <laughs> <laughs> looking out for you, man. Oh my uh, god. You have a lucrative career, Jingles. <laughs> uh, don't call it Jingles. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh. Charlie Sheen did okay in two and a half, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What was that fucking. What was that fucking thing you said to me? <laughs> like, what was it? They were doing the logos for the movie. Oh, yeah, and like, it was like what the was H. It? One like of the, them, it was, it was like, like H dot, and then some no, it was, word out. It was remember. the H Brothers, and I leaned okay. over to you and said, the H stands for hentai. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my fucking shit in the theater. I'm la I'm laughing like a fucking maniac, just like in front of. Me. Well, because it didn't help that there was a bunch of like clearly Chinese figures and like uh, yeah, like symbols. And I stuff thought like, like ooh, Lionsgate, and then I was like, oh, what the fuck is this? And I'm just like, <laughs> no. And then you just lean over, you're like, the H is for anti. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Yeah, this, this is this is a lot of fun. I'm, I mean, I guess fun is even kind of a strong word because I just I feel you know what? I feel satisfied. Yeah. That's how I feel. Like I feel emotionally satisfied. Yeah. I feel like I, I feel like I went a good journey mm -hmm. and I came out feeling cleansed. It's a like safe I, journey. It's a very well thought out and it's very, you know, it's very honest. Mm -hmm. I said that many times. Yeah, well, know, no, I feel fair. like yeah, I feel like when a movie is honest. Like, you know, that's this one is of the strongest be, things it can be. You know what this is going to be? This is like when I recommended, um, what the fuck, uh, what's the hell? That movie that came out with, uh, Daniel Radcliffe and ooh, Paul ooh, Dano. Ooh. Uh, Swiss Army Man? Swiss Army Man. This is going to be like when I recommended Swiss Army Man to people. No one's going to fucking believe me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, this movie was amazing. You need to see it. And go, what? Fuck what? off. And I'm like, no, 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 no. This is just as good as the farting course movie, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I promise. I promise. It's it's gonna be good. And mm -hmm. I guess I, this one's more open. To everyone than yeah. Swiss Army Man was. Yeah. But it's still a movie. Uh, still a movie. I I vehemently stand behind as in a fantastic mm -hmm. fucking movie. Yeah. This. this uh, a, yeah, but this no. This is, is I, this, movie. Edge of Seventeen is a great movie, and I I yes. I, I cannot like. I'm I'm surprised in myself at how much I'm recommending this movie. Yeah. But. Uh, I thought it was just going to be a good movie, but holy shit, I was blown away. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I am very happy. And, I swear uh, to God, if this doesn't get nominated for any Oscars, I'm going to be so pissed. It probably won't. It probably won't, but, you know, like, I'll still be really mad. I mean, I'll look, be very upset if it's not it's nominated not, I, for anything. It's, I don't see this being nominated. Mm, yeah. um, it isn't one of those Oscar bait movies. So. No. Um, mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about trailers? I mean... Yeah, I guess, but <laughs> one of them's gonna put me in a bad mood, and you know I'm contractually obligated. It's to probably the first one. I have to step out of the car once every review, so <laughs> you know, like if it brings that up, you well, know, then I can. The, let's talk about my... the song before the movie again, then. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I swear to God. <laughs> <sighs> so uh, the first trailer we got was. Uh, I didn't realize the trailer for this got released, and like you and I started like, "What is this?" What was the first one for this? Oh, oh. Fifty Shades Darker. <sighs> yeah, because this is always going. I'm like, "Fuck." Nope, nope. I'm getting through this. I'm getting through the whole review while staying in the car. Uh, okay. But yeah, we got we got that trailer. Because uh, I was like, "Oh my god, real! I gotta see this fucking movie." Ah. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> I, yeah, you better. So. If, if you take me to see this movie. What do you mean if? <laughs> <laughs> if you convince me to take to go to this movie. You're gonna buy a beer. <laughs> you owe me more than beer, my friend. Okay, six beers. Thank you. <laughs> Before the movie. <laughs> 
I'll buy you a six pack. Thank you. <laughs> I actually like hard cider. If you get the angry origin stuff, I love that. Okay, I'll use, I'll keep that in mind when I need to bribe people. Because I remember Thank I have to see the first uh, Fifty Shades. I had to, I think I had three people. Different people told me to fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Wes told me to fuck off. Grant told me to fuck off. Uh -huh. The only one that saw it with me was Sarah. God bless her. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Uh, Sarah, we owe you one. You should really do. You're, and even you're then, a like trooper. even then, I got way angrier than we than and she did. And even then, like Fifty Shades. It's a great. Didn't even make my top ten worst list that year. Yeah, that's how bad that year was, or just how forgettable Finish Hits Gray was. Mm -hmm. And even then, there was one line in this trailer that I mean, like, oh god, which was uh, someone in the back was, "You think you're the only one who's ever tried to save him?" <laughs> like, if you, ladies, let me explain something to you. Ugh. If you feel like you need to save someone, it's not worth it. Just don't. go away. Just walk away. Walk away. Yeah. You can this, drop off your goofy fan on the opera mask and just I walk fucking, away. I have like a huge loathing for Fifty Shades of Grey, but that's simply because it's like the incestuous love child of all the Twilight films. Because that's, I mean. You can say it's Fifty Shades of Fucked Up. Yeah, exactly. Fifty Shades of Fucked Up. That's, that's an actual I mean, line from the movie, by the way. Are you fucking serious? I am dead serious. Are you. <laughs> I'm staying in the car! <laughs> staying in the car! That's a line from the book that they shoehorned. They, they, I guess it was a famous line from the book, so they, like, the director was obligated to throw it in there at some point. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Because I don't read shit! <laughs> mm. I love okay. how you're just dying inside right now. Oh. Uh, think of Edge of Seventeen. It's a much better movie. Okay, Edge of Seventeen. Okay, so. Uh, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. This is the face of hope. <laughs> 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 Fuck. That's one of the best lines in the goddamn movie, I swear to God. Just Woody Harrelson with a kid baby, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. The spoiler. Uh, then we got uh, Trev the Bye Bye Man, which is still a silly name. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is the first time I saw this. The yeah, like movie, I, but that's like, what he said. Like, uh, you lean over me, he goes, Is this like Beetlejuice? I'm like, No, it's. Uh, <laughs> like, it's, no, like, it's, it's you say, don't say his name. Don't even think about him. I'm like, Beetlejuice? <laughs> yeah, and then he goes, That's a much more clever name. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I was like, I wasn't, I wasn't getting super into it, and like, none of the jump scares were working. And I was <laughs> yeah, like, it's a And like, movie. then all of a sudden I hear his. <laughs> I hear the guy say, the bye bye man. I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, mm, yeah, you, I heard what, you, what, I heard you no, snicker no, next to me. No, what's, his, the name. No, what's his real name? <laughs> the bye bye man, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's the movie. All right. <laughs> yeah, take someone else to see bye bye man. <laughs> you probably beat the bye bye man by saying, hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> what if, what were we saying? It was like, uh, well, the, the only person to defeat. Uh, and that, like the joke I made, and I made the joke before in okay. other reviews, where I said, like, his, with his arch nemesis, greeting, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said, like, the only person who can stop him, the Walmart greeters. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Walmart, get your shit and get out. <laughs> uh, uh, then we got the trailer for Why Him. Uh, yeah. They. The only thought, I, good thought I had about that movie is, well, at least Brian Cranston looks cool with the chainsaw. He does look cool with the chainsaw. <laughs> and the rest but of the movie looks like the, shit. The rest of the movie, I was like, I wonder if James Franco is even acting anymore. Like, I, don't, uh, I feel like this is just him in real life now. I just don't fucking like James Franco. Yeah. Uh, at least not doing just comedy. Uh, yeah, like, just, I couldn't stand the interview. Oh, God. I did not watch... I went out of my way not to watch the interview. Well, you didn't have to go out of your way. The theaters kind of did that for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you remember? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was like, what was it like? North Korea doesn't want us to want to show us this movie. Why so we released really on Netflix. Guess fuck like, you. Yeah. Uh, it's like, why the fuck not? What's it North, oh, yeah, North Korea so. is like the put, like the Chihuahua of nations. <laughs> like it barks a bunch, but it's a little bitch. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Watch like, it. honestly, like... I, if we get bombed by North Korea tomorrow, I'm blaming you. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm John... There's a hairy just, man in California that doesn't like us. <laughs> <laughs> Nuclear bomb. <laughs> Fire the nukes, and he's like... While we're like, at it. Just, like, pointing a super stoker over the border. I'm just like, while, we're done, while we're on that subject, let's talk about <laughs> Trump. <laughs> God, don't make me talk about Trump. No, I'm not this. going to. I don't want Thank to talk about it either. Uh, okay, because... I'm just thinking about... Like, uh, who is so, also someone that's equally childish that can probably fire him as loud as we wanted to? Uh, 
<laughs> but anyway, uh, then we got the La La Land. Uh, what was La La Land? That was the doing? Emma Stone, Ryan Gosling movie. Right. I actually really want to see that. <laughs> um, okay, I'll let you to listen to that one. That one was like, I think I've said this before, it's like, I'm wondering which Ryan Gosling I'm getting for this movie. Yeah. Am I getting, giving a shit Ryan Gosling, or am I giving smoldering handsome Ryan Gosling? I just kind of thought that's his resting face, but... Like, smoldering handsome Ryan Gosling can't really act. Yeah. <laughs> Like, giving a shit, Ryan Gosling, on the other hand, gives us the nice guys and the big short, both of which he's great in. The oh, nice yeah. guys is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I just like, just kind of for like, sort of an artistic, like a lot of it even looks just very theatrical. And that, yeah, that's, I got oh, that God, by I'm great. curious, I'm curious yeah, about it. I want to see uh, it. And I yeah. like Emma Stone. Uh, Emma Stone's awesome, I love Emma Stone. And then we got Passengers, which I, I've talked about this fairly a thousand times. Chris so. Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence, like, Pretty essentially, people. like, Hollywood reached into their grab bag of, you know, actors who will, like... Oh, I like both those actors. I mean, yeah, they're good actors, don't get me wrong. I just swear, they're just in, like... I feel like Hollywood's like, okay, just put them in this movie, and, you know, it'll make more money, trust me. Like, you know, that's kind of the vibe I get sometimes. <laughs> oh, no, I feel, like, I feel like the concept might be interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's an interesting concept. So I'm curious. I'm just like... Mm. And then we got the space between us. <laughs> okay. What'd you think? Uh, maybe maybe ask some other people before you come to me for that. Um, the, uh, hey, are you going to get a text that morning? Hey, I'm gonna, buddy. I'm going to get a text the morning of like, man, are you doing anything today? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> what, are, what are we saying, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, when I, I think I was talking to you on last Thursday, and you're just like, "Oh man, I finally finished the show, and I can enjoy all this free time." And I lean over and go, "So you're saying you're free?" <laughs> <laughs> and, and you got this look in your face, like, "Fuck, uh, <laughs> yes, I am, Michael. Indeed, I am, Michael. <laughs> um, what shit are we watching?" <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you so at... much for making. What was it? For what was it? After my long break from reviewing movies, mm. thank you for so much for bringing me to this. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I feel it's that, a, I, it's nice to come back to a good. I, movie. I figure I owed you one. Well, you're the one that volunteered for it, so I appreciate. I, it. And with it, no the most open availability, oh, yeah. so especially right now, again, wherever it's that time of year where everyone's fucking busy, mm -hmm. uh, and it's impossible to get anyone down for anything, mm -hmm. uh, except Grant, because God bless him, <laughs> and you, Sarah Grant. too. Sarah's been a really good sport too. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, so yeah, that. Was, the space between us. I don't know. It's, a young, it's, adult, it's like, a young adult movie. It feels cute, but I don't feel... The only thing that in the trailer... Yeah, Gary Oldman. I love Gary Oldman. The only other thing I liked in the trailer is just the scene where I see the horse. He's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that part. Sorry, that's just funny as hell to me. Uh, I just... I've seen that actor do some pretty... Uh, that, I, I know I've seen that actor in other was, stuff. He was, was in... He in? Uh, fuck, what was that alien movie with Harrison Ford? Um... Where they're fighting like an army of bug people. Oh, um, Ender's Game. Yeah, he was he was Ender. Oh shit, was he? Yeah. Oh shit, he was. I actually liked Ender's Game. Uh, he was also in uh, Newt, the last Tim Burton movie, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Okay, that's the other thing I saw. Okay. I never was, saw that film, but I saw the trailer. He was awful. <laughs> like, <laughs> to be fair, I didn't exactly have high expectations for British X Men. Oh, I still thought that movie was very entertaining. Oh, really? Uh, okay. And you say this is really silly, <laughs> kind of way. So it's like the Dungeons and Dragons or the not as movie. bad, not as okay. bad. Uh, okay. It's more just it's just so bad. it's kind of bad shit. Yeah. So the point where it's kind of like what the fuck? Like there's a part where it has Samuel Jackson playing the villain in one of the uh, not. Not mutants can like blow like large gusts of wind. So like, <laughs> there's one scene where she like he blasts Samuel Jackson to the wall. And he goes flying back and hits the wall, and then it cuts to other scenes and it cuts back. He's still against the wall, <laughs> except now it's like he says his arm across like you know you can't keep this up all day. <laughs> 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 I gotta watch this fucking movie. Yeah, yeah. so there's some parts of like it's it's kind of worth watching for that. It's just All like right. like honestly, this movie would like the Edge of Seventeen would be great if it just had Woody Harrelson in there alone. <laughs> because like if the rest of the movie sucked and it was just Woody Harrelson with the good movie, uh, good scenes, I would still probably recommend this movie. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> like, but that's how good his scenes are. <laughs> but the rest of the movie happens to be just as good. Movie, yeah. uh, just the whole movie is just brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. So on that thought, you got any final thoughts for? Uh, the edge of 17. 
Yeah, best, I mean, what more can we say? <laughs> best movie, one of the best movies I've seen all year. Yeah, phenomenal. To be fair, the bar for that's kind of low. <laughs> yeah, <for> you. but <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Michael, for taking me to see you. <laughs> all the I shitty to, movies. Thank no, thank you, Michael, for taking me to the edge of seventeen. You know, and making up for the wildlife or the wild side or wherever the fuck the that piece life, of shit yeah. piece of shit Robinson Crusoe ass raping crap that ass was. raping Jesus yeah it, <laughs> it, it raped Robinson Crusoe just Damn. yeah so I, I hate that movie but I love this movie <laughs> this movie makes me feel so much better it really you does. know like I just in the uh. face of hope <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus <laughs> I'm trying to say, like, what other awful movies I made you see. <laughs> oh, my God. You made, you took me to Alvin and the Chipmunks 4. Uh, first movie I saw with you was Focus. I forgot uh, about Focus. Uh, um, it was it was crap. Um, that's true. It was. Well, what else have you taken me to? Like, I know there's been all kinds of shit. Uh, I, many, I took his, I many see, shades uh, of shit. What was that rustler superhero Christian movie? <laughs> the Masked Saint. <laughs> the Masked Saint, that was it. Uh, did we see Bad Moms? Risen, uh, we saw that one. Did we see Oh, yeah, we did see Risen. Okay. R to, risen, not Risen. Risen. Reason. The Reason of Risen. Risen, Reason. Stop now. Okay. At least I didn't take you to see Norman the North. <laughs> you did not take me to see Norman the North, and I also appreciate that. <laughs> and that's the last we saw of Wes. <laughs> Holy shit, was it? I don't know. I haven't talked to him in a really long time. I think he's been like he's been busy with a lot of writing and filming yeah. stuff lately. And I keep meaning to text him and ask like, "Hey, dude, how you doing?" But yeah, I, like, we gotta hit Wes up. I know, like lately. I missed the guy. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Um, what was it like? I used to play D and D with the guy for a little bit, and like, my God, he was like my favorite person to like. He was oh one yeah, of my he's favorite. Great. He was one of my favorite player characters. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I miss Wes. I want to bring him yeah, back. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so like, yeah, I can't recommend this movie high enough. I think it's one of the best movies in theaters right yes. now. Like, this and Arrival are two movies that you needed to check out. Yes. Uh, this is a lot less existential than Arrival, mm. but it's still really fucking good. Yes. So uh, watch yeah. this movie. And then with, so I think we got Moana. Later this week, like, cause we got Wednesday releases this week as a Thanksgiving. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to Moana. Uh, I'm hopeful. I don't, I don't know if I can heard... see it with you, but you know, I still really want to see it. I'll keep it in mind. I know. Uh, I'll probably be a me and Grant thing. Okay. Uh, it depends when when the schedule is out. I like since the weekend is Thanksgiving weekend. I'm pretty much dead in the water as far as work goes, which means right. I'll probably use the weekend to catch up on shit. All right. Uh, so yeah, and then uh, what's the other movie that comes out? Oh, Bad Santa Two. That's a Mia Muha movie. All right. <laughs> and then Allied, which is the Brad Pitt movie. It was Allied. It was... That's like the Brad Pitt and the girl who played Talia Al Ghul, like Marion something. I never saw Batman Three. Really? I never saw Dark Knight Rises. No. I thought it was. I mean, a lot of people hate on that movie. I thought still thought it was good. Yeah. Uh, I just haven't seen it yet. She also played Leonardo DiCaprio's wife in Inception. Right. Okay. Yeah, that I gotcha. Um, uh, but yeah, it has those two in it, so like World War Two spy thriller kind of thing like yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Smith except they knew they were spies from the get go <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I'll say uh, yeah, so that's I mean, all we got Brad Pitt right? mm. they're just gonna have him play Brad Pitt I don't know that's just okay anyway yeah. we'll see how it goes so mm -hmm. thank you guys for watching uh, see y'all later toodles <laughs>